Hello and welcome PML fans. I'm your host and head admin, Joe Zamora here. And with me, I have the coach of the Chikatimi Shurukins, Christopher. Hi. How's it going, Christopher? How you doing today, man? I'm, I'm doing fine and you, Joe? I'm doing good. Just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, man. Well, um, tell us a little bit about your draft history. Yeah, um, I played in a lot of drafts so far in Gen 8. Um, I'm, I played few seasons in FDL. Uh, it's another Pokemon group. Uh, I'm playing as well in the KD, in French leagues. Um, I'm a French Canadian, so maybe I'm, my English is is not that good, but um, I, I'm really well known in the French community in Canada. So uh, I'm mostly playing leagues there, but um, I played um, <clears throat> like three season in the factory draft league and three as well in the pokemon battle kingdom so i have uh we can say that we ha i have experience in draft leagues that's awesome man well we appreciate you joining pml uh we normally have some people from overseas so it's nice to keep that trend going here um what made you choose your logo um i'm a big fan of um greninja but you know, uh, my local hockey team um, is also named the Shurikens, so uh, really? it, it, it just yeah, it just makes sense for for me. Uh, um, I decided to um, go with that logo. Okay, so it was pretty easy to just come to you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was it was really obvious to me. Uh, to choose that one, it means a lot to me, and you know, uh, I really love Green Ninja. Sadly, he's not in the game right now, but um, I hope he will be back soon. I'm sure he will. Um, would you ever change your logo? What can you repeat, please? <laughs> would you ever change uh, your logo? I'm actually working and I'm actually at my job, so um, we have sound back there. Uh, can you just repeat, please? Oh, yeah, no problem. Um, would you ever change your logo? Yeah, no, I'm keeping that logo for sure. Uh, maybe I'll update it someday or somehow, but uh, not right now. I think it's pretty, uh, it's a beautiful logo in my mind. And oh, yeah. With, um, I already have like my transitions, video intro for my match. My, so uh, I don't think I will change it soon. Alrighty, man. Well... Since you've been in a few different leagues, how do you feel PML will be different from other drafts? Um, I really like this hearing. Uh, I think it's pretty restrictive. You know, it's pretty high. If some months, like my other leagues, was way lower. It's really different, I, and I like it. Um, I also like the um, free format, the freelance format. Um, I always work with point system, but you know, just tier system, uh, I really like it. Um, but uh, I, I like the f I like the fact that uh, we have no mythicals or legendaries. It will obviously be different. But uh, yeah, I really like it. All right, man, that's awesome. Um, that leads us to our next question here. With your number one pick, who are you planning on taking? Uh, I'm just thinking pretty late. If I remember well, I'm like in the eleventh spot. Spot, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, so I mean, I'm always draft drafting in consequence of who picked who before me. But you know, obviously, all the tier one are pretty great. Um, I really personally like. Uh, I'm on like Dragapult, Dracovish as well. For sure, we all know Dracovish, or should I say Fischer's friend? Yeah. <laughs> um, I like, you know, I, I like Terrain Mons as well, like Willaboom. So I think, I mean, it will really depend. Um, obviously, I, I, I have few picks in mind. I will not uh, tell, uh, tell, tell them all, tell them all. But yeah, um, I would say uh, Dracopult, Dracovish, and Willaboom. That's my top three. Alrighty. Yeah, you don't want to give away too much of your strategy. Um, so how do you feel about the tiers? I heard you say a little bit about it earlier. The team you said. Sorry, hey, we have some here. Oh, you're good. The tiers. The yeah, tiers. The tiers. Yeah, yeah. 
okay, okay, sorry. Um, yeah, I like them, like I said before. Uh, it's pretty restrictive. Um, some uh, some mons are really like higher than in the under league, so uh, I think it's pretty great because other mons will have the opportunity to shine. So um, I think it's definitely great. Is there a mon you would move down in tier? Uh, maybe a mon like Mudsdale, say. Uh, but he's a really great defensive wall. I just find it pretty high, but um, I'm looking at the file right now. I would say all creamy as well. But Chinchino too, but outside of that, uh, it, it's really great, I all think. Right. And on the counter to that, is there a Pokemon you would move up? Uh, I think I will just keep them secret. <laughs> I, I will try to draft them, I think. <laughs> I think, um, yeah, I will not stay them. Alrighty. Well, what is your favorite battle strategy? Uh, I'm a guy, I, I really like to play like three pivot or three defensive mons and like three offensive mons. I mean, I'm not a, I'm not a guy who tries to win on timer. Uh, I'm really offensive and I'm really creative with, with my strategies as well. Mm -hmm. um, on my YouTube channel, you can see all my matches, and I'm always bringing uh, crazy stuff like, uh, I don't know, for example, um, I have a league who um, it's singles as well, but it's the clash of type. You, you have every person has a type. So, for example, I, I'm playing the water type, and every week you're battling uh, two types. So, um, I played Utility Umbrella, I played Ad Adrenaline Horde. Uh, I really like to be creative with, with my sets, so um, my battle will not uh, be boring to watch for sure. And um, it, it's really offensive. I have offensive style, but uh, I can adapt myself and play defensively as well. Okay, I got you. Well, other than your first pick, is there a specific mon you want to pick your strategy? Um, I, uh, I think... Um, a a Pokemon with a lot of versatility, a lot of utility, um, in order to give me more flexibility in the other tiers, I think. Uh, I, lo I love to have a team who can do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think I will definitely aim at a Pokemon who uh, gives me option, or uh, I think I'm gonna, uh, depending on what have been picked before me, I think I'm gonna just aim at um, getting a great core, a, go a good type core. Yeah, but like a fairy still. Uh, Dragon or Dragon, yeah. uh, water, fire, uh, and grass, all of that. I will definitely aim at, uh, at a good core. Alrighty, man. Well, is there anyone you're excited to face here in PML? Um, Jesse Dudek is not here, right? No, he's not in this one. He was the champion of season of the previous season, I think. Yeah, the season that just finished this year. Okay, um, I would have been excited to battle him. Uh, we had a hell of a match in playoffs in another early league. Like he won literally on one HP on mm -hmm. his last one. Um, but he's not here, and I'm I don't know anybody else in the league. So I would say maybe the best player who's been here. I know David Lannis, but outside of that. Uh, I'm knowing, I, I know uh, nobody, so I would say uh, the best. Yeah, David Alani's was uh, facing Jesse in that finals. And last year, I faced the champion in the finals. I lost. He couldn't, uh, the last year's champion of the YouTube draft couldn't join us this year because he was busy with stuff. So, okay. Yeah, uh, I battled him in a VGC tournament. I'm, I'm, I'm a VGC player. Uh, but I'm, I'm good in singles too, but uh, I faced David in a VGC tournament. I know he's good, so uh, I will go with David. Alrighty, man. Well, that's pretty much all I have to ask you. Um, if there's anything you want to tell the fans before you go. We the North, baby. Let's go Canada and the Shurikens. <laughs> Alrighty, man. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, thanks, Joe, for having me.